I'm having a big dilemma because I thought it would be cute to have these eyeballs floating around behind me. Oh, I need one over here too. I can't find the other one, so it's not gonna be very festive. Go back. Hello! I'm Colleen Ballinger and I have a very stuffy nose today. I'm not sick, I'm just pregnant. See? In here, there is a child. So today, I thought I would do something fun and Halloween-y for you guys. I've seen a bunch of people do this on Instagram and on YouTube, where they have a zipper on their face and then when the zipper opens up, it like reveals something gory or bloody or galaxy or cool. Yeah. Well, I'm not talented enough to do that, but I do have two personalities. I am myself and I'm also Miranda Sings. So I thought I would do a zipper down my face, but where it opens up, you get Miranda Sings up in this business and Colleen up in this business. It's probably not even gonna work. It's gonna look like me with like a zipper on my face, but I'm gonna try, okay? Is that what I'm supposed to do? You know, it might be cooler to do like half and half. That's dumb. A big reason I wanted to do this is because I just launched my new lipstick line. I have a Colleen lipstick and a Miranda lipstick. I'm really, really proud of these things. And I thought I could feature them in the video. So I'm currently wearing the Colleen color, which is like a pinky rose. I don't know what you would call this. It's used. Sorry, I should probably clean it before I like show it off and try to sell it, but I'm a dirty person, get over it. This is the color I'm wearing right now. It's very wearable. So if you don't wear makeup a lot, but you wanna find a lipstick that looks like natural and pretty and pinky and just every day, this is your gal. I'm obsessed with this and so far everyone who's bought it has written to me and said that they love it and it's just what they wanted for someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup it's perfect but today we're going to be featuring the Miranda red there she is it's shocking to me that I've been doing Miranda for 10 years and I finally have a lipstick sorry it's probably dirty because I've already used it sorry it's when you get it it will look cleaner but I use it a bunch so I probably shouldn't have shown you that but listen I'm not a beauty guru I don't know what I'm doing my face is currently clean I am me I am myself but I I need to make this section of my face look very Miranda-y and I need to glue this on. Now, I haven't watched a tutorial on how to do this, so I'm gonna be making this up as I go. I put eyelash glue on my eyes, so I assume this is safe to put on your face. This could be a horrible idea. It is a horrible idea. All right, so first thing I think I should do is put the glue on the zipper so that it can start doing its magic and drying. I probably should have watched like how people did this. I want this to be authentic. Authentic DIY. I'm doing it myself. I'm not gonna take other people's ideas. Well, I did take someone else's idea. This is a lot of other people's idea. But I'm not gonna take other people's creativity of how to apply it. I'm just gonna take their idea and then apply it incorrectly to myself. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, get some tackiness going on it. And while that's happening, I'm going to take off the makeup in the places where the zipper is going to go so that it can really stick to my skin. Now, as Miranda, I don't really wear makeup makeup except for the lipstick. So I'm going to be taking off all of this makeup. Say goodbye to the lipstick Daisy May. Thanks for being on my face. Wow, I look atrocious. I have really bad acne scarring. Some people can get away with like leaving their house without putting on makeup. I can't even get out of bed. Like I'm not kidding. I wake up. The first thing I do after I wake up is brush my teeth. Like immediately I think if you don't brush your teeth the second after you wake up, how do you live with that? How do you live with that taste in your mouth? I don't understand. Then I pee and and I immediately put on makeup. Like I can't even stand the thought of like being awake without makeup on. That's how insecure I am. That's how deep my insecurities go. Cause everyone told me, when you're pregnant, you have like glowing beautiful skin and your hair grows really long. That's not true. My skin exploded when I got pregnant. It's just now kind of clearing up a little bit, but the scars on my skin are so bad from when I first got pregnant. My face was a pizza. Like it was so pepperoni pizza out. And then now my whole face is scarred. Thanks pregnancy. I'm gonna I'm gonna apply this BRB. <gasps> this is not going well. I'm gonna look up Laura DIY because she's the last person I saw that did this. How did she make it look so cute? Oh, you know, she cut this thing. Too late for that, it's already on my face. Oh, see, this looks terrible. I don't know what to do. My face recognition isn't working, so that's really cool. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever done on the internet, and I have taken a bath in Slurpees before, so it's one of the lowest moments of my life, maybe. I just like to remind everyone that I am a mother. I am with child, and my child's going to come out of my womb. And he's gonna grow up and he's gonna see this and he's going to be so disappointed that I am his mother What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Basically, I want to look as gross as possible inside the here's the issue is that I don't look that much different on the outside of the thing So I'm wondering if I should change my skin color on the inside to be more like pale But that means I put on foundation. Maybe I just rub it more so it looks more red 
a little better. The problem is that, like my face is my face, so I look like Miranda everywhere, regardless of what I do on this middle part. Why did I think this was a good idea? This is a horrible idea. Like look how cool that looks. That's because this whole section is like super colored in. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep trying to do Miranda. You know what I should have done? I should have had the zipper go all the way down my clothes and like the inside of the clothes was Miranda, but then like the shoulders were like me. Oh, I'm taking too much work. I'm tired and I'm pregnant. Here goes the lipstick. That's how you apply Miranda lipstick, by the way. You put it on your bottom lip and then that's how I do it, in case you ever wanted to know. Okay, I really needed to look super different. Now here's gonna be the hard part, is trying to look like Miranda in my mouth, but like me in my eyes. How do I do that? This was the stupidest idea ever. It doesn't even look any different. I just look like an idiot with a zipper on my face. Why can't I make this work? I think the whole point of it is like, this section has to be a different color. I think that's the only way this works. What a fail. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna make it look cool. Okay, so like, okay, how do I do like the Miranda mouth, but like my eyeballs? What are my eyeballs? What do my eyeballs do? How do I be my eyeballs? My eyeballs are just like, okay, if I smile, that's my eyeballs. <laughs> this is so weird. So now the Miranda mouth would be like, that just looks like Miranda with a zipper on her face. This is not, this is not working. If I do a Miranda smile, then I don't move my eyeballs. This is not working. So what I'm gonna have to do is change where the zipper is on my face, I think. So I'm gonna change where the zipper is so that it zippers into Miranda. Ah, okay, let's see. Oh, definitely just pulled out some hair. So what if I did it this way and then had it go down my mouth? This is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so if it goes across my eyebrow, would that be a thing? I don't know. And then which side's Miranda? Which side is Colleen? Oh, guys, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. I'm gonna take off the makeup on this eyeball, all my lashes, goodbye lashes. I'm gonna take off the makeup, right? Yes, and then I'm gonna take off this side of the lipstick. Okay, there is glue all over my face. Take off my eyes, make it look nice and gross. It's not hard to make me look gross. Oh my God, there is literally glue all over my face and it's disgusting. I should be careful not to get glue in my eyebrows because I definitely ripped out a bunch of my hair up here. Ah. I'm going to go try to apply this in a mirror. It's really hard to do in the viewfinder here. So I'm gonna try to apply this in a mirror and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, still didn't work. Still looks totally dumb, but I'm still gonna try to make it work. So I feel like maybe if I take down the Colleen side of my hair and then the Miranda side, I can pin down, I guess. I'm the weirdest person I know for sure. Okay, I mean the Colleen side is pretty bad, so, but I can kind of hide the zipper, which might be nice. So let's try to do that a little bit. This is rough, guys. This is really rough. I just have to like make one side of my face look like Miranda. Like that? Did I do it? Is this cool? No. The answer is no. Oh, and I have to sneeze in the glue. I'm really nervous because there's glue on my eyebrow, guys. Bad news. I'm gonna try to do a few different faces and then try to Photoshop it together. No, just flip -flop flopping around. So, if you wanna be Colleen and Miranda for Halloween, this is the worst idea in the world and I do not recommend. <laughs> I would suggest just being Miranda for Halloween. And in order to be Miranda for Halloween, all you need is this lipstick, button up shirt or cat shirt and some red sweatpants, easy peasy, and you'll scare everyone. So it's the perfect Halloween costume and it's cheap and fun. But don't do this. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life and didn't work at all and it looks like crap. And now I have glue in my hair and in my eyebrow and in my mouth and in my nose and that can't be good for me or my unborn child who is kicking me ferociously throughout this entire video so um, please subscribe <laughs> and click the bell notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a video like this. This is quality content. This is what you wanna see, y'all. I'm going to go pray for myself and my sanity. And uh, I'm also going to make sure that my fiance never sees this video because then he will leave me. Have a great day, bye. Hey guys, I wanted to talk about something really quickly. The last video I uploaded confused a lot of people. <laughs> and I've had people coming up to me, like when I'm out and about at restaurants and stuff, coming up to me saying like, I'm so sad to hear that you killed Miranda. Like Miranda's dead. Miranda's not dead. The last video I uploaded was called Saying Goodbye to Miranda Sings Live. People either didn't watch that or watched it and interpreted it incorrectly. I'm still doing Miranda. Obviously Miranda's all around me. Miranda's not going anywhere. I was just saying goodbye to Miranda Sings Live. Like my touring. I am pregnant, so I cannot travel for the next three or four months because I'm pregnant. And then after the baby comes, I probably won't travel for six-ish months after that. So we're looking at about a year almost of me not being able to go anywhere and not being able to perform. And then once he's old enough for me to travel with him, I'll decide whether or not I can go back on tour if I can handle that. I want to go back on tour. I'm hoping that I'll be able to go back on tour, but I can't say yes I am because I don't know if there's gonna be issues with my kid. Maybe once I have the baby, I'm not gonna want to go on tour anymore. So as far as I know, I have to say goodbye to touring, but that does not mean Miranda is dead. Miranda, I'm still gonna be doing YouTube videos. I'm still working on other projects. You know, I just launched 
watched The Lipstick. I just came out with a book with Miranda. Miranda's not going anywhere. Miranda's here. Miranda's here to stay. As long as you guys will watch her, I will keep doing Miranda. I just can't do Miranda live on stage. Um, and that's what my video was saying goodbye to. And the reason it was so emotional is because I'm a performer at heart. And when Miranda first got popular, that's how I started my career as Miranda. So it's been a decade of me touring. I've never taken more than a month off of touring before. So to go from touring consistently for almost 10 years to now not touring for about a year is a really big adjustment for me and it's really emotional and really weird. So I just wanted to clarify <laughs> because a lot of people are tweeting me. They were so sad to hear that Miranda was dead. People were saying, Colleen saying goodbye to Miranda Sings because she's having a baby. That's not happening. Miranda is not dying. I am planning on continuing to make Miranda videos as long as I can. And I just felt like I needed to clarify that. Yeah. That's the tea. Miranda's not dead. She's not going anywhere. So subscribe to Miranda and get my lipstick. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching this really weird video. If you're still watching, oh my gosh, you're a hero. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.